hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial i am going to be teaching us how i drafted this front and back piece for our shorts so guys stay tuned to the end of the video so these are the measurements required for this tutorial the waist circumference the hip circumference the crush the lap or thigh circumference the trouser or short length and then below are my measurements remember to get your crushes your hip divided by four so these are the tools that i'll be needing for this tutorial so my ruler the scissors tape measuring tape pencil eraser marker and then my curved ruler so as you can see i already have four lines on my brown paper the mark the one above is my waistline and then the one the second one is my hip line my hip is eight inches you can as well use 8.5 or nine inches depending on how tall you are your client is and then that is my crush for you to get your crush it will be your hip divided by four i got my 9.5 but i approximated it to 10 inches another method of getting your crush depth is to ask your client to sit on his flat surface and then you measure from their waist to the surface so the next one is our full length my full length is 17 inches and then i added two inches for my hemming allowance that's the last line so i divided my hip by four i got 9.5 so i am going to input that 9.5 on my hip line so i'm going to input it 9.5 that is my hip divided by four 9.5 and i added one inch allowance because i want my shirt to be a little bit loose so i added 1.5 on it so i'll do the same thing on my waist and then on my crush line so on my waist i marked the same thing i did that's 9.5 i added one inch allowance and then i did the same thing on my crush line or crush depth so i did 9.5 and then one inch allowance so that the next thing i'm going to do is connect the three points from my waist to my crush so i i i, I am doing so with my rule so the next thing we're going to do is to get our crush extension so our crush extension is our hip divided by four and then you divide that what you get by four as you can see our hip divided by four i got 9.5 from mine and i approximated it to 10 and i did 10 divided by four i got 2.5 so our crush extension is 2.5 so i am going to input that 2.5 on my crush line like so as you can see 2.5 so i'll put my place my tape at that point and i'll get 1.5 because i am marking the front part so i'll get 1.5 so i am going to connect from my hip line down to that point so i am using my freehand sketch to get it Ugh. And this is Right, right. I'm not that good at free hand sketch. Okay, okay. Alright, uh, I think I need to correct a little bit a little more. This part can be a little bit tricky, just have to take your time as you are doing so. So like that. Ah, I don't know what this slide is doing though. It seems like I've gotten myself a new student. <laughs> okay, so I am using my curve ruler to correct it to make it straight or curl, a little bit more curvy mm -hmm. so now it is done so the next thing we are going to do is to mark our waist measurement our waist circumference divided by four mine is that so that two divided by four i got eight inches i would want my waist to be a just a little bit loose so i am going to add half inch to it and then i am going to put place my dart on my front um, on my shot so i am going to leave like one inch for my dart so as you can see all right i'm one inch for my dart all right so now the next thing that i'm going to do is to connect um, my waist point from my waist point down i'll connect it down like this so i'll get my rule and then i'll connect the line So 
so it's set now so the next thing i'm going to do is to label okay let me label so that it will be everything will be clear that's my waistline my hip line sorry the line the my heart right hand is actually smaller then my crotch depth or my crotch line and then my full length does my hemming allowance sorry the camera wasn't able to get the hemming allowance so now we're about to get our thigh line our thigh line is um three inches below the crotch line so the middle line that i placed there how i got it was my crotch line divided by two i'll get i got 6.5 so i marked 6.5 like one side 6.5 the other side okay so back to our thigh line so just like i said i marked down three inches so i'm going to connect okay three inches i am i marked the same thing to the other side so i am going to connect the line to get my thigh line so i am connecting it like so i extended it to the other side like so i extended it because uh my thigh will be more yeah so there so now the next thing we are going to do is to come down at that point and mark 0 0.5 inches you can as well use one inches depending on your preference but i use 0 0.5 for mine so 0 0.5 at downwards please if you have watched this extent please subscribe like and share to your friends and also drop your comment on the comment section so i am going to blend from that part straight to my crush depth side So I am I am going to use pencil to trace it. But don't worry, I will, I will still use marker so as to make it to be clear. So as you can see, I am using the marker to make it to be visible. So I am going to connect it straight down, like so. So now the next thing we're going to do is to place our thigh measurement so my thigh measurement is 24 24 divided by 2 is 12 so i'm going to place 12 inches from on that line so i am going to place it like so so remember if you want to place your tape place it at that point Look okay at that point so i am going to mark my 12 inches i'm going to mark my 12 inches so from that point i marked now i'm going to blend it up to my line my crush depth line i'm going to connect it there so now as you can see i've already connected my so i want my down part to be a little bit loose so i marked 11 inches there that is um 22 22 divided by 2 so i connected it straight up like that so now i'm going to come down straight so guys depending on how tight you want this down part um your down part to be i want my own to be loose so that's why i had to do it like that so now the next thing we're going to do is to move over to our waistline so on our waistline i marked half inch half inch on that my line guide so i marked half inch half inch making it one inch but before then i am going to cut out my band so the band that i used was band of one and a half you can use two inch band depending on your band or you can use, as well use one inch band but i used one and a half inch band so i i marked it like that 
so I marked it the other side to the other side one and a half so I am going to connect the lines So now that we are done um, tracing our line, what we are going to do is to cut out that part. In as much as I'm not going to use, let me just write band, but we are not going to use this band. So now I'm going to bring down that one inch I marked above. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to bring it down to that part. So I'm going to mark that same thing I did, that half half inch, making it one inch. I marked it there. So I'm going to come down from there. I am going to come down by 3 inches. I'm going to come down by 3 inches. So now I am going to use my ruler and trace it up. I am going to use my ruler and trace it up. Like so. So now our dart is almost our dart is set. So the next thing we're going to do is to cut off the band. Remember what I said before? I said that band, the part I labeled band is not our actual band. I just wrote it band because it is where I'm going to replace my band. So before I cut my my fabric, uh, my brown paper, sorry, I am going to go ahead to add half half inch allowance um for my seaming so i'm going to add, add a half half inch allowance there straight i'm going to add it all around so now we'll go ahead to add it please guys if you have watched this extent please subscribe to my channel like comment and share to your friends that you think that will be this will be a of help to them please guys so as you can see we are done with our front part so i went ahead and labeled my front panel so the next thing we are going to do is to cut our back part so guys i will also be dropping the video on how i cut the shorts in my next tutorial so you guys should turn on your notification bell so as to get notified when i am going to post it. so now to the back part what we are going to do is to place it on our fabric place our front um, um pattern on our brown paper so i'm going to extend my crush depth by two inches from that part remember you take your measurement from the actual part not from your seam allowance from there you take your measurement from there so i marked two inches let me bring the camera close so you see what i'm saying so the next thing we are going to do is to come to, at that point on uh, we are going to come down by half inch okay as you can see we are going to come down by half inch So the next thing we are going to do is from that point we are going to mark from that point we are going to mark two inches so remember the front part was 1.5 so the back one will be two inches so i marked two inches so the next thing we are going to do is to come to our waist part so we are going to place our tape 
and that's a guideline so we are going to divide it into two um as you can see is four so you're going to be dividing into two i'm getting two inches so i'll mark two inches like the, like so so i'm going to place my tape on my original line not from not on my hemming uh, on my seam allowance but from my original line so i'm going to mark um 1.5 inches but you can as well use two inches depending on your preference so i'm going to use one and a half inches for mine So the next thing that you're going to do is to connect that point towards down to that your half inch below your crush depth. So I traced it down to that my point, to that my half inch point that I did. So I'm going to connect it very well now to make it to be visible. So I connected it down. So the next thing we're going to do is measure our waist. So our waist is, I'm going to place my tape to measure my waist. So I got like 10 inches. That is what I got. Remember, you measure it from your actual um, point. So I placed my tape there and I marked 10 inches. Marked 10 inches. So I am going to connect it to the other point. Okay, let me bring up my extend my waistline. So I'm going to connect that point to the one above. So the next thing is I measured 1.5 inches from that point and I connected it straight down to my hemline. So I traced it, traced the whole body and then I, I went up. So that is how I did my back. Please guys, remember to add your half inch seaming allowance and also your that as well the same thing you did in the front will be the same thing you do at the back that so guys as you can see our front and back piece are set so i am going to be dropping my video on how i i joined and as well how i drafted and made my pocket so now the next we're going to do is to cut our band so our band is from that or that you fold it into two like so and use your tape to hold it so i am going to remember that 1.5 inches of band that we cut off so we're going to replace it we're going to trace okay like so as you can see we are going to place it there so we're going to trace that front part just take your time and look at what i'm doing so i'm going to trace it like so so our band is a little bit curvy not straight so that it will sit well on your waist so the same thing you did in the front band that is what you do at the back band so we'll go ahead to connect our line guys remember to add your half half inch allowance on your band you do the same thing at your back band as well this is actually my method one of making sure i still have method two of making sure so guys just stick to my channel because i'll be releasing it bye